How's it going, everybody? Once again, we are at a point where people complain about bashes. And complaints tend to lead to misinformation being spread. Whether that is to further one's own agenda or simply a lack of understanding of the matter is kind of irrelevant. Other people will spread that misinformation and wrong feedback is given that might, once again, lead to changes in the game that are unneeded and also unwarranted. We sadly have a history of appeasing idiots, so let's try and get our facts straight this time. Not that I'm expecting any of those clowns to actually watch any of my videos anyways, but that's beside the point. Let's talk shinobi kicks, and for a matter of fact, this time, the unpunishable or near unpunishable nature of some of them. You've seen the recovery values of each three of them on the screen for a while now, and it should be clear that the flip kick especially is very vulnerable. If you dodge it, you do get that guard break. It's unreactable offense at all skill levels and loops back into itself, so getting a guard break here seems to be fair. What about the other two though? I've made a video about not being able to dodge the repost kick when buffering the guard switch, so please check that one out as well to understand the full picture. So not only is it hard to dodge on a mechanical level, not even the reaction wise, strictly because of bad inputs, it is also beyond safe. You are not punishing this one unless you play one of a handful of characters. Then the forward dodge kick. Here's the recovery value again. Both the counter guard break as well as the recovery to block, those are extremely low. So let's first debunk the you always get a guard break. No, you don't. If you dodge, you really only get a guard break consistently if the shinobi backflips. But there is no reason to backflip unless the shinobi sees an indicator and an empty dodge shows no indicator, meaning the shinobi won't backflip. The backflip covers most dodge attacks except for the undodgeable ones, which he can block most of the time depending on dodge time. Reaction dodges to orange mean that the dodge is on the later side, so blockable for the most part. Buffer dodge bashes can be backflipped on the reaction. Delaying the bash won't help either. Mind you, all of this is done on the reaction by the shinobi. There is no read required on the shinobi's part, which in turn makes this much safer than Orochi's bash, something the community was whinging about to the utmost degree. The Orochi was forced into a read on how to make his whiffed bash safe, throw the light to stuff a guard break, do nothing or dodge attack, whichever ones you fancied. The fact that most brainlets just mindlessly dodge attack the kick and then got punished for it was what caused all these complaints, but this video is not about Orochi and the terrible community, it's about Shinobi. It's just to give a little bit of context. So when do you actually dodge to get a guard break against Shinobi then? Because you can dodge early enough to do so. This is a full on read, or the reaction to seeing the dodge. If the math is right, it means 233 milliseconds of the dodge, not the indicator. You are reacting to movement of the Shinobi. This in turn does lose to double dodge into kick, or even delayed kick from single dodge, or simply a guard break. Remember, it's movement that you are reacting to. But in general, people don't really like making these hard reads, especially when they are as risky as that one. We've seen that with Orochi's kick. It was consistently punishable on early dodge into a light, but nearly nobody did it. So in this instance here, Consistently getting a guard break is not feasible. TND is pretty much the only hero that gets to consistently punish with a dodge light. Charge bash heroes like Warden in Warmoga can force a mix up on the Shinobi. 
but with Shinobi's enormous iframes and many options, he's still somewhat favoured Hiretsu. To sum it up, Shinobi's kick is problematic because, unlike Orochi back then, can do it all on the reaction to what the opponent does. You cannot force a read upon the Shinobi to punish the kick. For the majority of the cast, it truly is unpunishable when fighting a Shinobi that knows what they're doing. I don't want to suggest what to do here, block recovery could be increased, the window in which Orochi can backflip could be reduced so reaction is no longer possible, but this could also make him feel clunky, something I'd avoid at all cost. I'm also not a fan of punishing every bash with a guard break all the time. There are some, like the flip kick, but definitely not all. Fact is though, something needs to give here. We can't have untouchable bashes where we need to hope that our opponent fails a reaction check. So now go forth children, use your powers of complaining for good for once. Let me know if something's still unclear. For now, I hope the video was helpful, thanks for watching, laters everybody.